Draw Every Day with JJK. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my art studio. I'm Jared Krasowska, but you can call me JJK. And you know, if you're wondering why I go by JJK, like I mentioned my grandfather uh, used to call me by my initials because he would go by his initials. So where is he? Okay, so this is my this is my grandpa Joe, uh, and he and my grandmother Shirley, they raised me. This is them when, when they were newly married. And he went by JDK and I went by JJK. And when my first book was published, where's my first book? My very first book ever was Goodnight Monkey Boy. And I had to decide what, how I was going to present myself on the cover. And um, I decided that I would make sure I included my middle initial uh, to honor uh, my grandfather because my middle name is Joseph, which is my grandpa's first name. Okay, so what are we up to today? We are going to be brainstorming. So all week long, we've been talking about how to draw a character. And each lesson is built up onto one another. And this will, all these will go in one little playlist. And we're going to start uh, next week. We're going to have a whole bunch of brand new lessons that will build on one another, which of course those lessons will build upon what we learned this week. And today we are brainstorming. And before I went live, I asked the grownups on Instagram stories and I asked the grownups on Facebook to get me some ideas so we can brainstorm and collaborate together. And I asked for uh, folks to make suggestion of a, an animal or an inanimate object or a, a job, an occupation. So I'm going to read through some of these ideas we have. Okay, the, the very first person to respond um, said state trooper, uh, which reminds me of, um, I have a friend who is a state trooper. His name is Chris Zango. And I used my friend Chris's last name uh, to name the main character in Platypus Police Squad. Okay, so uh, Llama. I'm just going to read through a bunch of them and we'll choose a few of them. Uh, uh, Llama, Andrew suggested a panda. Uh, someone suggested a unicorn hunter. Um, an artist, a uh, confused kitty. Uh, someone suggested a lacrosse stick, uh, a dog, a snow leopard, a statue, a space pig, hey, Max, uh, uh, a cat, robot, chicken nugget, firefighter. Someone suggested cheetah, hot air balloon, a narwhal, a flower, a metal detector, a rhino, a hippo, a chicken, um, uh, a bar of soap. That's a good idea, Bruno. Uh, a giraffe. A book, a firefighter, uh, Henry suggested a pine cone. Oh, there's so many ideas. Uh, we, this could be a 10 hour video if I chose every single idea and they're all so great. A tiger, uh, Frankie suggested a dragon, a tabby cat. And uh, gosh, this is just in the first couple of minutes over over on the grownups from Facebook. A pineapple, a police officer, uh, a horse that's dancing, a dolphin, a whale. Uh, Samantha suggested a puppy. Uh, a pangolin, P-A-N-G-O-L-I-N, pangolin. I'll have to look that one up. Um, okay, uh, Fiona said kitty, uh, Jenny says fox, Theo says roller coaster builder, wolf, Brooks says tiger, Eiffel Tower, Evan suggested scientist, uh, Bradley says Xbox controller, and Nikki says farmer. All right, let me just quickly look over on to what people suggested on uh, on Instagram. Okay, somebody suggested uh, a sloth and a zookeeper, a boot, a bunny, a garbage collector, uh, Mrs. Potts, a giraffe, a hockey player, a pug. Hmm, I'm familiar with those. Uh, a polar bear, a wolf, a pizza, a tiger, a chipmunk, a puppy, a dragon, a plant, and a polar bear, a toilet paper. That's a good one. Uh, tiger, elephant, a wolf. Okay, so I am incredibly inspired by all of those ideas. And let's take a couple of minutes to um, draw some of them here. And let me um, change up my point of view here. Okay. Now, all of those were such fantastic ideas. One idea that really stuck out uh, was, I think it was from one household, one sibling said pineapple 
and the other sibling said police officer. And here's a cool thing about artists and being an artist is that everybody could interpret uh, the idea of a pineapple police officer in their in their own ways. You know, um, there could be 10 artists in a room and they could all be asked to draw a pineapple police officer. And then they would all come up with different ideas. Okay, so there's my quick little sketch. I would give him some big aviator sunglasses. A little badge right there. Okay, there is our pineapple police officer. Okay, somebody suggested toilet paper, which is absolutely hysterical. And someone else had suggested an artist. And those two stuck out for me because as an artist, I use paper. Uh, I use this paper for drawing. I use toilet paper for something completely different. Uh, but I never draw on toilet paper. But if you were a toilet paper who was an artist, would you use your own body to make art? Because it's technically paper and artists use paper. So let's Let's see what that's going to look like. Now, I am an artist, but I have never once worn a beret in my life. It's a bit of a stereotype on artists, but still, I'm going to draw this little beret on this artist. Toilet paper. Holding an easel. I'm going to have some of that toilet paper come down here. And that toilet paper is going to be, it's going to be the canvas. Make sure this is all still working. Okay, my tech is still working. Okay, nice, fun, quick little sketch. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of color here. Maybe, maybe this is an abstract painting that toilet paper is creating. I, this will probably be the most absurd thing I draw all day. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Okay, let me let me jump in and see what some of the other occupations were that people had suggested. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, scientist. Okay, because I was going to draw a pug. I do love drawing pugs. Someone had suggested a pug. We will draw a pug scientist. Okay, and remember I'm starting off by just sketching out some shapes. And let's give this pug scientist a big lab coat. 
and maybe she could be holding a clipboard and then this pug scientist she could have some sort of some sort of beaker with some kind of chemical coming out Right, there is our pug scientist. All right, let me dip back into some of the suggestions here. Let's see what we have here. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, so many great ideas here. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. One person suggested a dragon and yet another person suggested a firefighter. And man, wouldn't that be a conundrum? If you were a dragon and your job was to be a firefighter. Let's see. I'm going to go one that's more sharpened here. Now, let's see. We have the dragon's head here long dragon neck there thinking about the shapes wings hind legs tail finding my shapes finding my shapes let's see what am i gonna have maybe they'll have a hose some clothes on that dragon and splashing out some of that water. Okay. Going to draw some scales. Splash in that hose. Maybe I'll draw the fire truck in the background. And that dragon tail, I'm gonna throw some spikes on there. You know, maybe dragons are just experts too on fire. So sometimes you got to fight fire with fire. That's the thing that grown ups say sometimes. All right, let's do let's do one more before we have our important, most important part of, of these sessions. Um, let's see. Okay, somebody suggested. A space space pig, Max. I'm looking at you, and then somebody suggested a unicorn hunter, and I'm going to combine those two to be a space pig unicorn hunter. 
a space. First, we got to figure out what a space pig looks like. Like, is it a pig from Earth who travels to space, or is it a pig that's from outer space? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a pig that was sent to Earth from outer space to hunt the unicorns. So maybe this is the villain of our story. All right, so I'm gonna find my shapes. You know what? That that space pig is going to use a lasso to capture the unicorns. And since it's a pig from outer space, he can have as many eyes as I would like for him to have. Put some motion lines there to show that the lasso is going around the character's head. This feels like a character that would definitely need its own theme song. Space Pig! Unicorn Hunter coming to get you unicorns. Something like that. I'm just, uh, I am just uh, spitballing ideas there. So uh, the most important part of our day, of course, is... Hello there, pugs. Oh, it's a good pugs. Such a good pugs. Oh, be nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, nom, nom, nom. Oh, they're good boys. Okay, so I'm feeling brave today. I'm feeling brave today because... Let's draw with oppositional three-year-old. Okay, you have met our two eldest kids, Zoe and Lucia, also known as Lucky. But today it's Friday, so... It's crazy because we also have a three-year-old named Xavier and he's going to come on and draw with us. Right, Xavier? Yeah. Come on. Come on, dude. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi. Hi. This is Xavier and we're going to draw together. What should we draw? Do you want to pick a color? I want to draw a pumpkin. You want to draw a pumpkin. Okay, let's... Switch up this, let's see, uh, camera A, camera B. And fishes and pumpkins and water. Fishes and pumpkins and water. Okay, let's do it, dude. Let's do it, my buddy. Mm. Okay, what are you gonna draw for us today? Fishes and pumpkins and water. I need first of them, draw a pumpkin. First, a pumpkin. Let me zoom in on that pumpkin. There we go. Nice pumpkin, dude. Nice. Oh, he's got arms and legs. Does your pumpkin have a name? His name is Dance. His name is Dance. Dance the pumpkin. That's what we need right now. And does he like to dance? Yeah. Okay. That's a ball. Oh, and that's a ball? He's playing with a ball? Is no, it? That ball is just massive. 
the ball is going to smash him. So is the ball shooting in this direction? Yeah. Can I add some lines to it? Can I draw yeah. two? Yeah. Ooh. So I make lines like that when I want to show motion. Uh-oh. Yeah, there you go. Those are some motion lines for you, too. <laughs> That's great. Do you want to use blue now? Yeah. Okay. There you go. And is that water? Nice. So is Dance the Pumpkin swimming? No. Tell me what you're drawing now. A fish. A fish? I got you a green marker too in case you want a green. That, um, that, um, that fish is going to say glub. It's going to say glub? Glub, glub, glub. Glub, glub, glub. As a fish would. Awesome. It's going to hit him and smash him, and that boy is going to smash him too. So Dance the Pumpkin is getting smashed by a fish and by a ball in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Oh, it's not a good day to be uh, Dance the Pumpkin. You know what, Xavier, now it's time to read a story. And... Ooh, oh, hold on, and story time! Story time with oppositional three-year-old. Uh, no! Okay, we are going to be reading my book, It's Tough to Lose Your Balloon, today. And let me do uh -oh, this. That, that's a crayon. That's okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So let's read it like this. It's tough... Uh-oh, Daddy. Oh, that's okay. I'll get the cap later. Yeah. It's tough to lose your balloon. Now, this is the end paper. No words for the story yet, but the story has begun with a picture. It's tough to lose your balloon. Daddy, I want a slime balloon and a pumpkin balloon. You want a pumpkin balloon, okay. And a, and a slime balloon and a ghost pumpkin balloon. And a ghost pumpkin balloon. We love Halloween in this house. Yeah. It's tough to lose your balloon. But, it'll make Grandma smile from the sky. Is that just Grandpa? I don't know. I think that, that's the Grandma right there. Maybe Grandpa's somewhere else. It's sad to drop your sandwich in the sand. But, it'll make some seagulls very happy. It's never fun when you break a toy. But you'll have fun fixing it with Grandpa. It's the worst to have wet shoes. But it's the best to go barefoot. It's frustrating when your ice cream melts. I want a slime ice cream and a pumpkin ghost ice cream too. You want a pumpkin ghost ice cream? And a slimer ice cream? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But your cone will make a great hat for your scoop. It hurts to get a scrape. But you'll get a cool bandage. It might even glow in the dark. It's scary when you have a new babysitter. But you get to stay up late. So when life gives you rain, look for the rainbow. And then at the end, you see that balloon floating away. Now, Xavier, you know what I did that was really sneaky? Yeah. You do? 
maybe you notice at home. The colors that I presented to you throughout this book unfolded in the order of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And when something is sad, the world kind of feels like it's in black and white. But when you look at the positive, you can see everything in full color. Well, Xavier and I would like to thank you all for watching today. Grownups, uh, if you have some artwork that you would like to share, grownups can uh, uh, comment with an image uh, underneath the Facebook post that will archive this very episode. Uh, and, and we'll be able to use that artwork on our next episode, which will be Monday. Also, if you, on, if you are on Instagram, Instagram stories and tagging me there would be the best way to do it. <laughs> and uh, the, the Facebook posts are the, the photos that will end up in our videos at the very end. Um, and uh, please shoot them horizontally. And that'll be make it way easier for me when I put together these clips. Um, real quick, before we go, one more time to... Scribble Game! One more round of the Scribble Game, but this Scribble Game is not for us, it is for you. I'm going to draw a Scribble. I will scan this Scribble and put it up on my Facebook for the grown-ups to download. Or, you can also take a screenshot of this video and print that out as well. And my Scribble for you... Daddy. Looks like that. Daddy. So let's zoom in. Hold Daddy. on. One second, Xavier. One second, buddy. Okay. So there, there is your scribble. And show me what you can make with that scribble. I hope that everybody has an incredible weekend. I'm going to be back on Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern, with a whole new um, set of lessons. So all of these lessons are going to build upon one another. There will be a playlist on my YouTube for week one. We developed so many characters this week and we learned how to make our own characters next week. We are also going to be um, talking about how to tell a story with pictures and I will be inviting some of my author pals to zoom in live to show us how they draw their characters as well. So I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Bye. Please click like and subscribe and keep drawing. See you soon.